Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a Super Saiyan 3 team building guide. Yes, I know, long awaited. I have all the other linking guides out and we're finally doing the actual build guide. So that's going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and start out with the first one, the, the SR that Doken Wake into the SSR Super Saiyan Bardock. He is, his leader ability is Super Saiyan 3 category and agility, intelligence, physical type, key plus 2, HP attack, and percent. Not that great in terms of a leader, but he can become very viable when you're doing a Super Saiyan team building in case you don't have the new Super Saiyan 3 uh, Bardock. Uh, but he's awesome, especially when you run him with the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, it's not that bad. Uh, Super Attack Rebellion triggers Supreme Damage, lowers defense, passive skill, fired up Saiyan, attack plus 80% when performing a Super Attack, defense plus 80% for five turns from the start of the turn. So that means he's going to be doing a good defense and he's always going to be launching attacks. I was told that when you max him out in the dupe system, which is very easy to do because he's a common pull, especially if you're pulling on the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner, He's going to easily clear 1 million on a double, uh, well, on a Super Saiyan team. So you can definitely go ahead and run him without any problem. Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Experience Fighters over in a flash, prepared for battle, fierce battle, and limit breaking form. All of them are really, really good, useful Link skills. And that's just crazy, except for Saiyan Warrior Race, but everything is really awesome and highly utilized. Categories are Super Saiyan 3, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyan. So he's on three different teams. Now, as typical, um, Pure Saiyan's team, he's going to be linking with all the other Super Saiyan 3s. There's no real reason for me to do any type of linking guide with that. Plus, it's not available on Global yet. So when it becomes available, I'll talk about it. Uh, max stats are HP of 85, 16, attack of 66, 64, and defense of 34, 75, with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Uh, honestly, it's not that bad. He's a nice setup. Um, his leader skill works. If the character is under Super Saiyan 3 category, they'll receive the buff from the leader skill. If they aren't, but they are physical, they receive the buff as well. So yeah, pretty much standard stuff. Um, unfortunately, no other, no, nothing further than that. He's pretty standard. In terms of linking buddies, every single person in game, let's switch over to my Dokkan Battle Builder view real quick. Um, the best one he links with in the game is a Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. He has, um, was that 10 fit, 25% attack buff, 3, three key for over in a flash, attack plus 700 flat out buff, and 2000 for super attack. He also links with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Easy A for Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Over to Flash Fierce Battle Limit Breaking Form for 25, 3, Key 7. So the same exact thing. Uh, that's actually going to be really good on a Mono Agility team, by the way. Those two link very well together. And the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the Strength one, if you don't have the Easy A one. Um, so that's the same exact actual buff. So he, these are his three best linking buddies in game for the Mono Agility one. Um, in terms of Mono Agility team, best linking buddies are the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. He's attacking defense plus 90% at the start of the turn. The Easy A Goku, which we already talked about, and the Kaioken Blue Goku for um, Super Saiyan Overflash, prepared for battle and fierce battle. So he's going to be getting 5 key and 25% attack buff. It's not actually that bad. Again, I'm not personally a big fan of this one. I like the artwork and the design of the super attack and everything. But again, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku does more better when he Doken Awake or when you uh, get him up to 100%. does a lot more damage. He's easily clearing oh, about a million every single time he launches a super attack on um, on my, my Realm of Gods team. So I prefer using but anyway, that's that. That's this setup for here. That's for Mono Agility team. And for um, Resurrected Warriors team, four key with Super Saiyan Broly, uh, the legendary Broly. That is 25% key, or sorry, 25% attack buff, flat out 700 and two key. TUR Broly is the same exact thing, 25% two key 700. Um, three key for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This is just the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the 120 tech leader. Um, so it works out on actually on um, Resurrected Warriors team as well. So he's getting 25% three key and 2000 flat out buff. This crappy Super Saiyan Go 3 Goku is same thing, 25% 3. He's nothing really awesome. Key plus 3 attack and defense plus 7,000 at the start of the turn. If they change that to like a percentage, he'd be better. The free-to-play Goku with the attack plus a 180% high chance of that. 25% 3 key 2,000. And this Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel, which is passive, is key plus 5 attack plus 12,000 at the third attacker in turn. So it kind of sucks. Um, two key and 25% attack buff. Overall, not that great for those guys on the bottom, but he does link with some of the primary staples, which is the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and the TUR Broly and the LR Broly. So that's not that bad if you did not pull the actual intelligent um, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Last but not least, for Super Saiyan 3, I mean, there's just so many damn people he links with. The three Super Saiyan 3s that I talked about in the beginning of the game, he, um, all the beginning of the game, beginning of the video, best linking buddies in game, obviously, are Super I don't want to go through every single one of them, so I'm just going to talk about the cards. Um, the TUR Broly, he links for four link skills with. Um, the, the actual, we already talked about the Goku. The LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. The, the actual Great Ape, Golden Great Ape Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. And the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. You also have the Adult Tanks down here, but he's not on Global, so we don't really need to talk about him. 
But that's pretty much everything he has so far in order for link skills. So, or for linking buddies. So he has a lot about people on the Super Saiyan 3 team. And it's honestly, it's pretty simple. Most of the Super Saiyan 3s are going to contain Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, Golden Warrior, um, and Limit Breaking Form. Those are the four of the most common ones that they're going to have. I think Broly's the only one with the exception who doesn't have Over in a Flash, but he has Prepared for Battle, and Prepared for Battle is going to be another common one. So it's going to be very easy, really, pretty much to link whoever you want on this team, depending on who you have. But this team is meant more for optimization on which teams are like S tier and whatnot. So anyway, we have over here now the new Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Mark of the Saiyan Strength, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. This is the intelligence, the primary Dokkan exclusive Super Saiyan 3 leader. He's a really awesome card. I really love it. Um, I'm really happy I got him. Super Saiyan 3 category key plus 3 HP plus 130% attack and defense plus 170% or super intelligence type key plus three HP attack and defense plus 90%. I actually had some of you ask me on the Facebook group when I posted up my team, why am I running an LR Gohan? Well, it's because LR Gohan gets 180% buff when you're running a double Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and six key. That's not bad at all. And he hits for 2 million damage easily. So anyway, super attack, rebellion edge, me immense damage to the enemy, medium chance to seal the super attack. Now, the, the, the sealing of the super attack doesn't really come into play too often, especially because you're going to be going up against mostly Dokkan events. And usually by the third or fourth round, you can't seal. So, I mean, it's cool to have it, though, so it's not bad. Passive skills, super awakened assault, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. All super class allies attack plus 40% when HP 70% are below. So he's also supporting everyone when your HP has dropped below 70%. The other thing is, one reason why you really don't want to run Broly on the team is because he's not going to get this buff. Not only does he not have over in a flash, he doesn't get this buff for super class allies when your HP is down. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Over in a Flash, Prepared for Battle, Limit Breaking Form, The First Awakened, yes, The First Awakened, and Fierce Battle. So that's a really amazing Link skill set. Categories are Super Saiyan 3, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, Max stats are going to... HP of 11,020, attack of 7, 000, or 10,728, and defense of 5,995. A really high defense, too. 12 key multiplier is a stunning 150%. Leader skill, well, we already know how the leader skill works. When HP drops below 70%, his additional attack plus 40% is calculated separately at the start of the turn for a total boost of attack plus 180% when performing a super attack. Support units passives would be added to the initial calculation of attack plus 40%, meaning they'll also benefit from additional attack boost. So that means you're going to have your, your basic attack and defense plus 100%, then whatever buff you get from the passive of whoever is there, and then you get the additional attack plus 40% at that final calculation when your HP is below 70%. So he's going to be, he's a monster. Um, pretty awesome unit. Let's go over here to Dokkan Battle Builder view real quick. Um, best linking card in game actually is the Intelligence Intelligence Gogeta. So the two of them link perfectly together. Not perfect. They don't hit every single link skill, um, but they hit pretty much all of them. I think he has, what, five? Uh, let's see over here. One, two, four, five, six. So he had seven, he has six. So the two he's missing is Limit Breaking Form, which isn't that bad, and the First Awaken, which would be amazing if he had that, but he doesn't. Um, but he does have enough. 35% uh, attack buff and five key. These guys will be launching super attacks all the time. I highly recommend if you have Intelligence Gogeta to run him primary on a Super Saiyan 3 team, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Best linking buddies for Mono Intelligence team. Uh, we already talked about the Gogeta. You also have the Ultra Instinct Goku. They share Fierce Battle and the First Awaken for 40% uh, attack buff. That's phenomenal. Um, too bad that he didn't have experienced fighters. If he had experienced fighters in Super Saiyan. But I mean, honestly, if you throw a rotation on there with like Gogeta and you have all these, this guy's getting so many freaking buffs. It's not even funny. Bardock's going to do amazing amounts of damage. And imagine if your HP is like below 70%. You have what? Uh, experienced fighters um, and Super Saiyan for t uh, 20%. And then you have this 40% on top of it. Oh my God. Plus the 40% the and the 100%. Yeah, he's doing crazy damage. Uh, three link skills with LR Gohan for Super Saiyan Prepared for Battle Fierce Battle, which is 25%. The TR variant of the Gohan. Um, you have the Trunks over here, which is the old leader, which is Super Saiyan Fierce Battle, 25% attack buff and key. Uh, the free-to-play Trunks. You have the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta over here for key, or for three link skills. I always say that. 25% uh, attack buff and two key. And then you have the Super Saiyan Goku, which is kind of whack. Uh, he's a key orb manipulator, agility to intelligence attack plus 40%. Not horrible. I see he'd only be good, like, along with this trunks, depending on who you have. Like, I still, for the life of me, have never pulled this trunks, and I've summoned a lot. I still have not pulled this trunk um, for key orb manipulation for that LR Gohan, if you want to do something like that. But honestly, if you're going to run mono intelligence, these are the only three I would probably recommend running on the team, just because they don't benefit from the other major Super Saiyan 3 buff. Um, in terms of resurrected warriors, Bardock's all around for who he's the best with. The two Bardocks, um, he gets 25, so First Awakened, um, that's 25, 35, 45, 50% attack buff with the physical one, um, and two key, 
the intelligence one is going to be 25, 35, 45, 50. Again, you also have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, which is the 120 agility leader. And he links for 25% attack and key. Then you also have this Goku, the, the other two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. They're both kind of whack, but it's 25%, 25% key. Let me sure go there. Yeah, there you go. Um, so honestly, for Resurrected Warriors, he does have some good units that you could run alongside of him. Uh, honestly, one of the two Bardocks will probably benefit you the most. I don't think it really matters which ones you actually want to do. The Technique one is a Key Orb Manipulator Strength Technique, Attack plus 40%. And the Physical one is Key plus 2, Attack plus 20% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. So he's a good support unit. He's a good linking buddy. Um, you could probably have him off of your primary rotation. And then you could have him on main road. Well, actually, you can't because they're both Bardocks. But you get the point. One or the other. Um, you're going to probably have one of the two there for Resurrected Warrior. Um, for Super Saiyan 3... Like the other one, he links pretty much well with everyone. I mean, the staple guys he's going to link with is Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks. Um, Broly, he does link with. You're not going to really run him too often, but he gets two key and 25%. The thing is, he's a glass cannon, that Broly. That's why I really don't run him on the team. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, uh, the adult tanks, is on global, so we're actually going to throw him down here. Easy A, Goku, Angel Goku, LR Goku, um, Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, the Technique one, and then these other guys over here, um, the Super Saiyan 3, Goku, T. Great golden giant, golden giant ape Goku and the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Now mine is perfect. Uh, uh, my Super Saiyan 3 Goku golden giant ape is 100%. So I would probably consider running him on primary rotation, but I don't need to. He's a support unit, um, but he does do 25% uh, in terms of link skills. Like three, all these guys are pretty much linking very well. And you're always getting super attacks off. Um, in terms of primary team building, yes, we're finally at the team building portion of the video. Um, so this is what I would probably, these are all the different links you could do. It's very difficult to try and get a good setup over here because there's so many good links, linking buddies. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I just wanted to talk about him first because I want to get him out of here. Uh, actually, both of them. He links decently with the, Super, the two Super Saiyan 3 Bardocks. That's the only two he really links well with. Um, we already talked about his links there. And the agility one, which over here for Super Saiyan, so 25% and two key. Not horrible, but if you're going to run him, you're going to want to run him alongside one of the Bardocks. And if you're running him alongside of the Intelligence Bardock, he's never going to get that 40% attack buff. For the super type allies when your HP drops below 70%. He's also a glass cannon. Mine is 100% and I really hate to not run him because he hits he does a lot of damage with little, little, little key um, or little key orbs because his attack increases as you get key orbs, kind of like a nuker. But it kind of sucks because of that because you can't, I can't really run him because the more key he gets, the more he freaking reduces his damage or reduces the health because he gets hit and he gets freaking wailed on. But he is there. And you also have this other uh, Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, a lot better. He links better with a lot of other people, but again, he is not uh, a super ally. It's going to be kind of hard. He does link a lot better with other units, though. Um, pretty much the Saiyan lineage. Um, what else does he have over here? So Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Saiyan Warrior Race. Yeah, actually, you know what? I just realized he lacks a lot of skills. For him. So he doesn't have any really good link skills. For him. So I guess you can't really do anything with that. Um, so yeah, those two, we're going to get those two out of here. I just wanted to talk about them before we started. I'm not going to recommend running them unless you're doing something stupid, like you need a Super Saiyan 3 category on like a regular event. Because um, so at that point, you don't even need to super attack and do a lot of damage. Now, as you saw my other video with the two new Super Saiyan 3 the Vegetas, I actually just recorded that video, so it's fresh in my mind. It's really going to be up to you on how you want to run them. You have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta GT, and the other GT right here. They all link very well with each other. Um, Personally, I'm going to go with the with the old ones because I don't have the new ones. But however you want to set this up, depending on the team you're going up against, the boss you're going up against, it might make more sense to bring um, the technique one over the strength ones um, or, or this or the GT strength one or the physical one over this um, or the regular Super Saiyan 3 strength. For my personal taste, I'm going to go with the two strength ones, but that's just my thing. Um, in terms of other links, let's see. The Super Saiyan 3 Easy A Goku with Saying three angel goku are perfect linking well not perfect but really good linking skills they have five for three four key uh 25 attack buff and 2000 flat out buff you could also do eva with the super saiyan three go tanks for four link skills and those four link skills are over in a flash so three key 25 attack buff i'm just ignoring all um, limit breaking for him it doesn't even matter if i mention um the the super saiyan three vegeta the og one has five link skills with the um agility go uh bardock which is really good so we already talked about that, but it's 25%, 3 key, and uh, 700, 2700 flat buff. Also, do not keep, do keep in mind that this Vegeta also links very well with the EVA Goku for 6 skills, which is 4 key, 25% attack buff, and 27 flat out, 2700 flat out buff. Um, so that's a really good setup as well. Um, and then you also have these LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. For linking buddies, it's going to be either the 
Bardock up over here. Uh, you can run them with 25%, uh, 20% attack buff at key and the 2000 flat buff. Or over here for 20, yeah, it's not that great with this Goku, the GT Goku over here. But you get 10%, 20, uh, 5500 flat out boost and over in a flash. And actually, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he also links very well with the EVA Goku. Um, because he gets, what, 25% attack buff, 2000 flat buff, and 4. So yeah, there, there's a lot you could actually do here. I mean, like I said, I, this is gonna the, the team building is gonna be very very easy because they all link very very well with each other. Usually four or more, some of them only three. So you're really not gonna have that many problems, especially when you're building. Um, and then you just have the Super Saiyan three Goku over here, the giant golden ape. You put wherever you want. Now, in terms of my preference, um, this is probably what I would run over here. This is something that I would consider um, as a good, really good. Um, I don't have the LR, so this is what I what, this is what I'm primarily gonna run. Um, if I'm just doing Super Saiyan 3s, Easy A Goku with the, or not, with the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta for the six link skills, really awesome. The Super Saiyan 3 Bardock with the um, Angel Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm going to run the support unit Goku over here, the Fist Tanks over here, and the Intelligence Bardock over here. Now, um, one of the Bardocks, yes, is going to be off primary rotation, kind of sucks, but the Easy A Goku links is, does a lot of damage, and they only have three link skills, and it's only 10% and three. I prefer having him, plus he's a damage reduction, a uh, big damage reduction, that Vegeta. So it's really awesome. Plus, keep this in mind, if you cannot find a um, another Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, they, these are all super units. So keep that in mind, too, about when I don't include Broly here. They're all super units, so you could find a Super Vegito friend, which is another person who's easier to find if you have a Super Vegito friend. And you could run them all on the team, because they're one super unit of every attribute type, so you'll at least get 120 buff all around. So keep that in mind when you're also doing your team building for the for actually pretty much any team. Um, if you're going to do mainly super units, definitely helps you out a lot. So you could definitely do that. And that's what pretty much what I'm going to run here. The other team that I'm going to run over here. Um, well, this is just pretty much for mono intelligence team that you could link with. Um, these three over here are the support units that you can bring with you to support the Super Saiyan 3 team. If you don't have any, if you don't have like that Super Saiyan 3 Goku or if you're lacking some units um, for Super Saiyan 3 team, these are all buffs to keep off of your primary rotation. Um, best linking buddy in game is the Gogeta Intelligence Gogeta. You also have the in, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku for four link skills, um, which we already talked about. Twenty uh, what was that forty percent attack buff and five key, always getting super attacks off. And the LR Gohan, which he doesn't link best, but it's twenty five percent attack buff and two key. Plus, remember he's going to be launching, doing a lot of freaking damage. Um, in terms of my uh, well, in terms of my favorite team, I would, what I would actually run. Um, knowing you don't include all of this, I'd probably throw Intelligence Gogeta if I get him. Third year anniversary, we should be able to get the stone where we could pick a 120 lead. I'm going to pick the Intelligence Gogeta if I don't summon him. Um, I'm going to throw him on here, but right now I'm running LR Gohan. Uh, actually, which one did I take off? I think I took off... I took off, yeah, I took off this Vegeta over here, and I threw LR Gohan up. Uh, just because it's a lot easier for me to run that. Just throw him up. Because it's a lot easier. Um... I threw him up over here. I have you together like that. So this is pretty much what I'm running. This is the team that I run. If I had Intelligence Gogeta, Intelligence Gogeta would be on here. But yeah, that's all. Um, in terms of the best linking buddies in game for Super Saiyan 3s with the Intelligence Gogeta, as you can see over here, he links well with all Super Saiyan 3s. And that's just because he has over and a flash. Uh, that over and a flash Super Saiyan Golden Warrior um, definitely helps out because he links with everyone because of that. Um, and he has Fierce Battle, which everyone on the Super, most people on Super Saiyan 3 team have Fierce Battle. Uh, also, one other thing we already talked about is the Ultra Instinct Goku. Ultra Instinct Goku is really awesome also, uh, just because attack and defense plus 100%, and when he awakens uh, to a mastered Ultra Instinct, he just dodges everything. So you have a lot of versatility with this team, and that's why I really like this team. But um, yeah, guys, that's it. The video is already 20 minutes long. I didn't want to go on any longer. I've been waiting to do this video. I'm very happy I was able to do it now. Um, I don't even know when this is going to get released, so I hope this was helpful and informative to you. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below.